he was a TSA screener whose job it was to keep guns and other weapons off planes at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. But tonight he's off the job, accused of taking a handgun into a secure area of the airport. A fellow employee discovered the weapon in a break room. Fox 5's Morris Stiggs has the story you'll see only on Fox 5. He joins us now live tonight from the airport. Morse? And that was not the only misstep by this worker who is not law enforcement. You see, evidently he forgot about the gun when he was in that break room. He left it in a chair when he went to go clock out for the day. Obviously, potentially a very dangerous situation. Keep moving this way, main security checkpoint. Behind the primary airport checkpoint, there's a room where TSA staff can go for a break. On Monday, a screener set aside his personal backpack. Inside, he had a 45 caliber handgun, just like this one. That decision by the worker crossed the line, says a former Atlanta police supervisor. Of bringing an item into that facility into a restricted area. He's not law enforcement. He shouldn't have his personal firearm in that area. It gets worse. That screener evidently forgot about the bag when he clocked out. According to a police report, a co-worker saw the bag and noticed the black handgun in the rear pocket of the bag in a holster. There were 10 rounds in the gun. With the owner gone, the co-worker alerted a TSA supervisor. But if you're bringing a bag in, isn't that like security one-on-one? -on -one? I'm holding the bag. Buddy, let me see your bag. Well, even the pilots have to declare when they bring their firearm onto the plane. Amazing. They, they should go through the same procedures that other passengers go through to be able to get to their work facility and to make sure that they don't endanger the public based on their um, incompetence. TSA officials declined our interview request. A spokesperson said the security agency has, quote, no tolerance, unquote, for what the worker did. He is no longer working for the TSA. He just defeated the security protocols. So to me, uh, that should be a crime. He should be charged with a crime. If there's no ramifications, what's to say it won't happen again? So will the TSA change anything about uh, how these screeners uh, come into the area when they report to work? That's one of the questions I would have liked to have asked one of the officials if they had granted an interview, but they stayed with a very slim statement saying this man is off the job. Reporting live from Hartsfield Jackson Airport, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.